its requirement is called as a product backlog. Uh, so I'll talk about product backlog a little later, but as of now, just remember product backlog is like a wish list that whatever Mr. Product Owner wants to be developed, he will put it into the product backlog. So if I'm a product owner for YouTube, the first item in the product backlog would be ability to upload videos on the site. The last item on that would be to basically recommend videos for the customer because that is the least priority if you ask me. What is team? The team is a cross-functional team which is self-managed and self-organized and this is the team which will actually do the work. So actual development, testing, coding would be done by the team and then there is a role called as a scrum master. Who is a scrum master? The scrum master is not a project manager. This is one very important piece of information you need to understand. Anyone can play the role of a scrum master in the team. The main motive of a scrum master is to keep the team's attention on the task at hand. And scrum master is a servant leader. What do we mean by servant leader? In a traditional project, the leadership style which is exhibited is a command and control leader. So the project manager will tell the team what needs to be done. Whereas in an agile project, when we say a scrum master is a servant leader, servant leader is a person who will facilitate the conversations in the team. Servant leader is that kind of a leadership style where the leader is more worried about the team members than about himself. So if you look at the political arena, there have been a lot of examples of servant leader, but unfortunately in the corporate world, there are very few examples of servant leader. So just to give you examples of servant leader in the political arena, the uh, one example which comes to my mind is Martin Luther King, who fought for the um, uh, rights of the black. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi, that's an example of servant leader who fought for India's independence. Those are examples of servant leader. Now in the corporate world, what they say is that a scrum master has to exhibit the characteristics of servant leader. And probably the only example which comes to my mind is that of Steve Jobs, who is considered as a servant leader in the corporate world. So a scrum master essentially is a one who actually is not a command and control leader. This person is responsible for removing impediments or blockers. And the role of a scrum master is to also make sure that the team is focused on the work at hand and the, the team is not distracted from their work at hand. So these are the three roles in a scrum team, the product owner, the team and the scrum master. There are four major ceremonies in a scrum team, sprint planning. Sprint planning happens on the first day of the sprint. In a sprint planning meeting, the team will pick items from the backlog. They will discuss those items with the product owner and then they will decide whether to pick that item to be delivered or not. So they will pick only those items from the product backlog which they are comfortable to deliver in the current sprint. And obviously they will have to pick from item number one because that is the prioritized order. Then there is a daily scrum meeting. Daily 15 minutes the team meets at the same place, same time to answer three questions. What are the three questions? What did you do since yesterday? So everyone has to answer those three questions. What did you do since yesterday? What are you planning to do before the next meeting, which is tomorrow, same place, same time? And are there any impediments or roadblocks coming in the way? So that is your daily stand-up meeting or a daily scrum meeting. You have a sprint review meeting where the demo of the work product is given to the product owner. So sprint review or a demo, as it is called, usually happens on the last day of the sprint where the working software which is produced is demonstrated to the PO or the product owner. The product owner may accept the product if he likes or if it is as per the requirement. He might accept it with some more suggestions or features or he or she might reject it, saying that this does not meet my requirement. And then the sprint formally earn, ends with a retrospective. Retrospective is more about reflecting what happened in the sprint. What were the good things which happened? What were the not so good things which happened? And how do we improve further? Remember, Scrum is all about continuous improvement. And then we have three artifacts. Product backlog, as I already mentioned. Product backlog is a prioritized list of requirements which is maintained by the product owner. Sprint backlog. A 
a subset of the product backlog which is decided on the first day of the sprint after sprint planning meeting and then we have a burn down chart 